Welcome everyone to the capital city, Trenton, New Jersey. Ring of Honor, Death Before Dishonor, zero out of the crowd. Piling in Caprice, and it's gonna be a huge night of action. Six title bouts. We will also see the first ever six man fight without honor and a dream lucha match. So much going on tonight. If you ask me, it's a double pay-per-view. So much going on tonight. You got to see Death Before Dishonor. It's gonna be incredible at the top of the hour, fans. You're gonna to wanna to go to watchroh.com to bleach your report and order Death Before Dishonor. This is an event you don't wanna miss. But fans, zero hour. It's a try it before you buy it. And we got four hard-hitting matches here tonight in Trenton Ring of Honor's return after 11 years to New Jersey. Let's waste no more time and get to our first bout now. doesn't listen to Bruce Springsteen because he can't relate to being mediocre. Four-time All-American with a collegiate record containing 108 wins, national champion and boss of the pure division, Josh Woods. Well, that was not Bobby Cruz. Folks, I am smart Mark Sterling and we represent your varsity. Athletes! Glad he identified himself there, Capri. Yeah, absolutely. You kind of knew it wasn't Bobby Cruz, but everything you said about Josh Woods was right. Absolutely. Josh Woods, an incredible athlete, former national champion, collegiate All-American, and more importantly, here in Ring of Honor, former pure champion, Capri. That's right. The pure division separates every division right here is where the wrestlers are, the people that have owned their craft. They go for the pure title. And Josh Woods has held it before. He just wants to hold it again. Certainly does, and he could make his name for himself once again here tonight. Of course, when we cross the hour, cross the Rubicon, death before it's honor, the pure title will be on the line. Yes. It will be Katsuyori Shibata, the champion, defending against Daniel Garcia. That's one of six huge title bouts here tonight. He's taking on a man, though, who's got a bit of a home field advantage. This match is set for one ball with a 15 minute time limit, and it will be contested under pure wrestling rules. It's the same the opponent, Rest got a Brooklyn, New York, weighing 201 pounds, Hookshot Tracy Williams. Tracy Williams shocked the world by nearly capturing the pure championship. Upon its revival in 2020, he went on to win the World Television Championship. Caprice Williams, a very decorated star here at Ring of Honor. Former television champion, former tag team champion, and here's a look at our judges here. You see the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels, Grand Slam champ, Jimmy Jacobs, ROH legend, and former world champion, Jerry Lynn. They are our judges here tonight. Of course, the pure rules as they will be in the championship bout. You have three rope breaks. After that, your opponent can be pinned, submitted in, on, or between the ropes. You get one closed fist. Mm. You also, oh, and looking for a rope break early is Josh Woods. Josh had that shot in early, man. Josh was going for that single that shot. Absolutely. Great amateur wrestler. Williams, a great technical wrestler. 20 count on the outside of the match goes the time limit. It goes to the judges. That's why we see our judges here. So it's important to not exhaust those rope breaks, to not throw the one closed fist for which you get a warning, because those often come into play with the judges. Nobody wants to go to the judges for the decision. So you try to win the match within the times, the strengths that you have. You see a nice ankle wrench there. It's Woods, though. One. Tying up Williams. Williams, though. Taking the ankle, wrenching it back. We talked about the pure title match that is to come at depth before dishonor. Five other huge title bouts, including our double main event, Caprice, made official. World champion Claudio Castagnoli on the men's side will defend against Pac. And we will see Athena hooked him. Wait a minute. One. She will defend against longtime budding rival Willow Nightingale. There's so many matches on this pay-per-view that's going to steal the show. That's why I said, no, you can't pick which main right. event is going to. You said both of them main event. And this match you're getting for free right now in the zero hour as you see a waist lock take down. Mm. That big throw. My God. Look at the precision on Woods now into the arm breaker. Oh, and that's a double wrist lock. Absolutely hit. Oh, rope break, break right there. It's the first rope break. That is rope break number one used by Tracy Williams. Tell you what, Josh would stay on you the whole time. Him staying away from you is a privilege because once he grabs hold to you, he's not going to let go. And you see Williams looking to break up the. That's the second oh. rope break. Now this is the. That this is, is rope break number two used by Tracy Williams. This is the advantage oh. right here with knowing the rules of the pure rules. 
Tracy did that out of instinct, holding on to the ropes, and it cost him, Riccoboni. And I think that's what's going to help Daniel Garcia, as much as it pains me to say it later tonight in the pure title matches. Woods, front face lock here. Ooh! Williams out to dry. And you see Woods here. What does he have in mind? So many dangerous things he can do. Yeah. Deadlift springboard suplex. Oh! Say that three times fast. Hook the leg. Two, Mike Posey with a two count only. And you see a great shot there. Tony needs Davari on the outside, the varsity athletes in their workout here. They've been telling fans to work out, telling them they're, they're overweight, that they smell. Oh, my goodness. My God. Most of the time, Rick Abani, when someone hits chest first, they hit the top turnbuckle. Tracy Williams' legs are so weak already that he hit the second turnbuckle, throat first. Tracy Williams is in a lot of trouble and early in the match. Williams, who returns so valiantly, there you see knees from that almost life-ending car accident. He was hit trying to save a dog as he was crossing the road in Brooklyn. We're so glad he's healthy. We're so glad he's back in top form. But he is in trouble here. Oh, oh and look at Williams counter. Two count there. Josh putting the knees to work. But Tracy's not having it right here. He's caught Josh's leg. Now he has the center that he needs. Hips are lower. Josh goes for the ride. And the former world television champion fired up in this pure bout with the former Ring of Honor Pure champ. Williams fires in. Big clothesline there. Hot sauce. Oh! Half hatch into the corner. Almost a return volley. Hooks the outside leg. One count there. Fans, of course, we want you to join us at the top of the hour for Ring of Honor Death Before Dishonor. Watch ROH.com, Bleacher Report, Internationally Fight TV. So many ways to join us. Mm. The only thing we're missing right now is you during this great pure bout. And there, there you see all the ways, PPV.com, cable and satellite. Ooh, watch ROH.com. As Woods finding a sweet spot, as is Williams. You see Posey there making sure these are forearms and not punches, because you only get one punch. That's why you got to watch Josh, because Josh will sneak a punch in there. Oh, and those forearms, though, driven through that arm. Caprice, he used to have that left arm bandaged. Absolutely, and that's why Josh has that wrist control on the left arm, keep a hold of it. But now it's working against him. And oh, my God! Wow, pump handle brain buster! Cover here in the cravat, too! That Kovar was deep, keeping his shoulders stuck to the mat. Josh had to push through a lot of pain to get out of that. And Josh had a lot of trouble, maybe cracked his neck a little bit. A little free chiropractic work for Tracy Williams, right? Woods in trouble, but those body shots earlier, definitely the difference at this point, not allowing hot sauces the crowd rally behind him to go for another cover right away. Well, there's no mistake about it, man. Hot Sauce is into some familiar territory. He's in his hometown. Oh, look at that. Close line block. Woods again. Oh, wow! And Woods is in trouble here. Williams may be the judge's favorite at this point. That pal driver! No! Oh, plants it! Shoots the half! Lateral press! One, two! Oh! That is rope break number one used by Josh Woods. Josh Woods needed that rope break and that pile driver. That also shows that Josh still knows where he is in the match. And of course, Williams has two rope breaks, exhausted two. Woods has used one. The concern sinking in on the face of Smart Mark Sterling, that ambulance chaser. As Williams now guiding Woods back up to inflict more punishment. Mm. That forearm had a lot of juice behind it from Woods. Woods in survival mode right now, not able to stand on his two feet by itself. And as you see, Williams delivering the forearm. Still hanging low. Front face lock. Ooh. I thought Williams was going for that brain buster. He might have been, but Williams able to sink the hips a little lower, driving the knees into the midsection. And those attacks paying dividends as Williams is left stunned. Yeah, Williams wasted too much time getting to get, trying to get Josh up. And Josh recovered, now has that gut wrench power bomb. Stacks Williams, two, and hangs on, uh-oh. Gorilla lock time, yes! Gorilla rocking the... Tracy's gonna have to grab the rope, and if he grabs the rope, it's his third rope break. Uh-oh, Williams, whose mouth is busted open at this point. The blood flowing in the mouth of Williams as he's reaching out. There you go. Oh. He almost, he looked like he was gonna tap. That is the third and final rope break for Tracy Williams. Certainly did, and Williams now in the driver's seat. We see Daniels, Jacobs. 
Now tell him, Rick Cabana, with the third rope right, there's no longer can Tracy Williams grabs the rope. Correct. He's in a submission position. Correct. He can Williams. be submitted in the ropes. Williams, this has always been his, his downfall in the tournament, was catching himself in this predicament. Woods, on the other hand, this was one of his benefits as he won the pure title. One thing that I do remember uh, with Williams is he made Williams fight so much harder be, with his back against the wall. And look at that. Wow. There he's a suplex is now on the apron. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, and they are right in front of us here on the apron. This is a dangerous part of the ring, Rick Abani, right on the apron. Nobody wins on this one. Big back elbows. Williams, look for the half hatch again. No. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, God. There we go. Woods drives Williams through the steel apron. Just that cloth covering, yeah, that centimeter thick covering. I mean, fans hear so many times that that's the hardest part of the ring with that German suplex. It locked Tracy Williams in that position. His body was frozen in that position. Let's look at that one more time, Rick Abani. You see the half hatch attempt from Watch Williams. Tracy's head. Watch his head. Oh, oh God. And nothing Williams could do about it. <laughs> head snapping back, hitting that mat, man. That's a headache that doesn't go away. And Williams is still recovering from that horrific accident. Being hit by that car trying to save the dog. That's, the, that's a selfless person uh, that Williams was, man. He wasn't thinking about his own life. Think about saving the life uh, of oh, a pet. Man, that's right here. here. Somebody want to look to save the match. Uh, Williams can't. Williams can't go to the ropes. There's nowhere to go. Yeah. He's exhausted all the ropes. That's, that's, that's it. Wow. The winner this match by submission, Jacques Woods. And a valiant effort from Tracy Williams Caprice, but Josh Woods takes advantage, makes the most of the pure rules, and Woods your winner here. That's what I think the advantage goes down to is knowing the pure rules and having them in sync. And that's why you think uh, that the pure title could twist tonight, you think? I believe Daniel Garcia has the muscle memory of the pure championship to lead him to victory here tonight against Katsuyori Shavana. Josh Woods, a huge victory over Tracy Williams here tonight. The former Pier champion putting his name undoubtedly in the hat for whomever comes out victorious here tonight between Shibata and Daniel Garcia. Fans, let's take a look at what you can see here tonight at Death Before Dishonor. Six championship bouts, the first ever six man fight without honor, but of course the world title. It'll be Claudio Castagnoli Pac. That's really heated up since this past Wednesday, Blood and Gun. Out of nowhere, this thing happened. But then we call it a double pay-per-view for a reason. Yes, because there's two matches that everybody wants to see. And this is the match that everybody wants to see as well. We got the tag team titles on the line in a four-way. You had the Kingdom, the Lucha Bros, Best Friends, and Ozzy Open, all in four-way eliminators match. That match is going to steal the show, I believe. It's going to be crazy indeed. Tag titles on the line and then fans. This is the bout that we have alluded to. It's going to be a great pure title bout. Katsuyori or Shibata, the champion. Defense against Daniel Garcia, the challenger. And fans, let's take a look at what has led to this pure title match right now. We're very excited about this Friday night, a great championship match for the Ring of Honor pure title with the former champion, Daniel Garcia, taking on the Ring of Honor pure champion, Katsuyori Shibata. Katsuyori Shibata, I do respect you. I said at the press conference, I tell anybody with ears, anybody that will listen. But what confuses me is why I don't get that same respect reciprocated from me. I don't like his dust. As much as it pains me to say this, Daniel Garcia to me is the odds on favorite to walk out of New Jersey, the Ring of Honor pure champion. Garcia's on quite a roll right now. He's been competing just a little bit more frequently under the pure rules. He has that muscle memory behind him that has that preparation set for a showdown with Shibata. And I think he's going to leave the New Jersey State Capitol pure champion. I believe to beat somebody like Shibata, you have to embrace who you are. Good, bad, ugly, whatever you have, you embrace all of it, you package it up, and you bring it forward. If you don't do that, then you don't know who you are. Shibata is the wrestler. He's the wrestler because he knows who he is. That's your Shibata. If you think you're going to come into that ring, and it's going to be an easy Shibata matchup where you slap me and you put me in a sleeper hold, then you hit me with a penalty kick. That's not what it's going to be. Shibata, you better be ready for the fight of your life, because that's exactly what I'm going to bring to you. 
Well, it will be Shabata Garcia. Pure championship on the line. Caprice, what a bout that's going to be. I tell you what, man. If Garcia doesn't embrace who he is, though, I think he's going to have a lot of trouble with Shibata. And fans, coming up next right here on the Zero Hour, a huge tag team bout. Action Andretti, Furious Mark, take on the Work Horseman, and that's coming up now. This tag team match is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first to the combined weight of 454 pounds, J.D. Drake, Anthony Henry, the Work Horseman. There you see Henry on the left, J.D. Drake on the right, the Work Horseman continue to make their way through the ROH Tag Team Division. You gotta think they have their eyes on that four corner bout here tonight. And one way to get in the title conversation is to pick up a win here, Capri. The tag team division in Ring of Honor is like no other. And if you look at the workhorse, and the workhorse will end the Eliminator match to get to this tag team match that we're going to see at the pay-per-view. They didn't win the Kingdom one, but they had a great showing, as always. Certainly do, Henry and J.D. Drake. But they step into the ring with this team. Their opponents had a combined weight of 393 pounds. The team of Action Andretti and representing Top Flight, Darius Martin. Andretti on the left, Martin on the right. A tag team formed out of necessity, but wow, have they taken to the tag team ranks like fish to water. There's one thing you can't buy, Rick and Bonnie, that's chemistry. Either you have it or you don't have it. Andretti and Martin, they have it, and it's been awesome every... I can't wait till Dante gets back. It's going to be incredible. We've speculated Dante Martin is ahead of schedule right now. They could, this could be a great trio. They could form any number of tag team combinations, but... Andretti and Martin have a victory over a team that's in that four corner tonight for this right. for this kingdom. Oh goodness! The workhorseman as we continue to approach the top of the hour when we will go live on pay-per-view. They're not paid by the hour. And they want to pick up a victory and do it quickly here. Whoa! What happened? Miscommunication. Drake hits Henry. It's too early for a miscommunication. Oh, and Andretti with a big drop kick. Ducks the clothesline there. Nice back hand sprint. And Martin with a big clothesline sends Henry up and out. The beginning of the match is all about momentum, Riccoboni. You lose momentum that early, you have to try to get it back. Oh. And oh! sweeps the leg of Andretti. He's talking about getting it back, but he's going to have to face. Whoa! And it's Martin out of nowhere. Action hot and heavy here up to the top. Martin no one home. Look at this. Look at the footwork. Yeah, it's, it's that balance that he's able to hold on to, Martin. Yeah. Anthony Henry. Anthony Henry called it. My God. Loves that double stop. So effective. Found an opportunity there. Oh His no. Face. His face for Kamani. Oh God. Darius Martin in the face of that turnbuckle. And our yeah. official is with no fault of his own. Oh goodness. Up and out. Like reckless abandoned Rick Abani. Into the forearm of J.D. Drake, the workhorseman. Their game plan working to a T right now after that initial miscommunication. Well, Anthony Henry trying to get the momentum back in the favor of the workhorseman, and they did it very fast. And of course, fans, you can join us death before the sign. Yeah. Use the QR code. Join us on WatchRH.com on Bleacher Report. Pay per view top of the hour. We're giving you this hour of action for absolutely free. But if you try it, you like it, you got to buy it, you got to join us. Bleacher Report, Cable Satellite, PPB.com, and Fight TV for our international viewers. Oh, God. Oh, some nasty chops. Mm. Ooh. We're going to hook them, though, Rick Abani. Yeah. They're going to see this. They're going to need the pay per view. The arm's going to be itching for it. Certainly well with the mm. six title bouts that we have. The first ever oh. six-man fight without honor. The Lucha Dream Match 2. Great cover there. That's the first time ever. Six-man fight without honor. Amazing. It's even a story behind that. Well, you, you have Stu Grayson who abandoned the Dark Order, in my opinion. I know, I know Evil Uno and, and Stu Grayson tell that story a little bit differently, depending on who you ask. But it's the lens of narrative. Oh, goodness. That has broken a 20-year friendship. 20 years, man. It's a long time to turn your back on somebody. 
But when you have the influence that the Righteous has with Benson, it's kind of hard. It's almost like a drug with Gabani. As you see, Henry is mm. sending Martin into the corner tag. Made that four-corner survival match. The Lucha Brothers, the Kingdom, best friends, and the returning Aussie. Oh, oh Ben! Darius has oh. been in this match the whole time, taking most of the punishment from the workhorsemen. They have cut off the ring, and Darius is in a lot of trouble and needs to tag out. And shots to the midsection here. Tag right. made. A wrist lock. Martin. Oh, great combination. Plants Martin to the power bomb. Only gets two. There's so many things that the workhorsemen do well. You can see right there Anthony Henry coming between Martin and his tag team partner to cut it off to keep a tag from being possible to happen. That's what the workhorsemen do so well. They're veterans in there. It's like old school, new class. They know what they're doing with the body. As Martin. Trying to to sort some things out in his own right. Oh, grabbing the hair. That, that little bit of hope from Martin was cut off that fast by Henry cutting him off. And into the ankle lock, rolling through and getting the high angle here. Martin trying to press out of it. Needs to make a tag. You see how Anthony Henry trying to pull him back. Trying to keep Martin from getting any closer. And he does. Separation. Drake makes the tag. Drake seems to keep. There you go. It's Martin. Oh, the arm, arm outreach. Wow. wow. Makes the tag. Big forearm connects. It's Action Andretti. Delivering. Swing and a miss. Going home. And wow. wow. Are you kidding me? Pump kick. And this is the free portion of tonight's proceedings. Body scissor takeover. I tell you what, man. Andretti's been waiting to get into that match. And the adrenaline at an 11 right now. Oh my God, he's got both men in the corner. Andretti's on fire. Double bulldog. Got, there you go. Got all of it. And talk about a man bursting on the scene. Defeating Jericho in singles action. Running, shooting star. Double pin. Two. Oh, and then with Martin defeating the Kingdom in a fight without honor. You can never count Martin out. You can never count Andretti out. These guys, they come in, they win at any time, and they believe in themselves. And that's really all you have to do. Action Andretti's in there. He's wanted to be in there. And now it's his time. Drake's not going to let anything happen, though. He's going to try to put off the ring again. Oh, front face lock here. It's Drake and Andretti up and over. Tag made. Mm. Nice thrust kick there. Andretti, Martin. Ooh, what are we looking for here, Caprice? Whoa! Wow! It's a satellite DDT. Hooks the leg. One, two, Henry for safety. Yeah. Anytime you see Henry in there to break it up, he did not believe that Drake was able to kick out of that. You see right now the workhorse been in a lot of trouble. Henry trying to pull Martin to the outside of the ring. Beautiful knife edge chop. Sends Henry down. Mm. Break now. Finding himself caught between a rock and a hard place. A Martin and an Andretti. Oh, complete shot blocked by Drake. They're in the workhorseman's corner. Double stop hit. Oh, and the big man. The big man climbing the ladder. Oh, my God. Everybody in this building thought that was it. I did too. How impressed are you? This is a tag team match, Rick Abani. This is Rick Abani. This is Ring Abani. Look at this again. Let's take a look indeed as we see Drake with the moonsault. Oh, God. And then just in the nick of time, it's Andretti who's able to get Henry out of the way, planting the Spicoli driver on the back of Drake. Back to live action. Blind Thurman. tag, blind tag. Andretti's in. Henry doesn't know. Henry doesn't know. Drop kick, German. Great combination. Another blind tag made. Drake's the legal man, Riccoboni. Wow, right hand misses. Super kick connects. What? Martin. Wow. Whirly bird neck breaker. The winners of this match, the team of action, and Drenny, it's Darius Martin. They are on their feet, Rick Abani, and this is the zero hour. The largest crowd in the state of New Jersey for Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor's return to New Jersey after 11 years. And Drenny on the left, Martin on the left.
the right, your victors. And if this is free, what are you gonna see <laughs> when you buy the pay-per-view? Put it in my arms, Ricky Body! <laughs> And as we await the code of honor, this is what it's all about right here. The workhorse will live the fight another day. That's what it's about, that code of honor. Code of honor adhered to. Look at that. Fans, I, I understand. I understand tomorrow night at Collision just announced we'll see Action Andretti and Darius Martin take on Bullet Club Gold. Wow. What a huge opportunity. Hey, let's take a look at what else is to come here tonight on our pay-per-view. Caprice, we'll see the world television title on the line. The world television title on the line is the champion. Samoa Joe takes on the man made for TV, Doug Castle. And the second half of our double main event, the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship. Athena, 31-0 in Ring of Honor sanctioned bouts defense against the woman that dethroned her and defeated her in the Owen Hart Foundation Cup tournament. Let's take a look at what's led to this bout right now. You and Willow have the great rivalry. The richest prize in the Ring of Honor Women's Division. Semi-final round match in the Owen Hart Women's Tournament. What a win! One and one. The world wants to see the rubber match for the ROH Women's World Championship at Death Before Dishonor. Athena versus Willow for the world title. No. You are not ready to carry this because I am not ready to let it go. The most dominant Ring of Honor Women's Champion of all time. Athena is a champion of champions. I know a thing or two about winning big championships at this point. Willow Nightingale has defied odds at every step of her career. It is possible for Willow to be Athena again. I'm bringing my smile in a big fight. That smile is going to go away at death before dishonor. You have awoken a whole new fallen goddess. Ring of Honor Women's World title on the line and two women that look to insert themselves into the title picture. That one dips, that one winner will be legit Layla Hirsch, Trisha Dore, that's coming to you next, right here, Death Before Dishonor, Zero Hour. Is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, wrestling out of Moscow, Russia, legit Layla Hirsch. 2 0 in Ring of Honor, but Caprice, that doesn't tell the full story. Layla Hirsch, a mercenary for the kingdom just a couple of weeks ago, wins in the main event in her debut, wins again, and says Ring of Honor is her home, planting the flag here in Ring of Honor. Tell you what, man, sometimes people open the door for somebody and they walk through. You open the door for Layla Hurst and she kicked it through. The legit hurt, I would call her the legit hurt Layla Hurst because she hurt people inside the ring. She has been multiple times the only girl on the wrestling team in high school in one state championship. That's how dangerous this young lady is. Certainly has that carried over into the collegiate ranks and comes here to Ring of Honor with one of the most outstanding pedigrees anyone has ever had, including the man we saw earlier, Josh Woods, a collegiate national champion in his own right. But you put that against the experience forged in service in the armed forces, and we have quite the big bout here tonight on Zero Out. Representative of Washington, D.C. She is representing the infantry, Trish Adora. Trish Adora. Accompanied by Carly Bravo on the left, Captain Sean Dean on the right. What a bout that was. Talk about Honor Club. We, we saw Tommy Hayashi Shinta make her oh my surprise and shocking debut. Anytime you get a talent like that on short notice, you, you bring them in. Trisha Dorr said, yeah, bring yeah. her on. Taking it in short notice. Great show by Trisha Dorr. Trisha Dorr training with New Japan Strong. Learning, putting new stuff under her belt. Continue to improve. Already great. Former Pan Am champion. Wrestling men and women. Fighting for a country. This is it. Certainly is, and this is a heck of a matchup. I gotta think, 
this isn't explicitly a number one contender's bout, but you win this, Caprice. Yeah, you, gotta, you start to write your ticket toward that championship bout. Absolutely. This, the women's division in Ring of Honor, I feel, has turned up a notch simply because of the champion. Absolutely, and we will see the champion in one half of our double main event here tonight, live on pay-per-view. At the top of the hour, folks, you got to join us, whether that's on WatchROH.com, whether that's Bleacher Report, standard pay-per-view. There's so many ways to join us internationally, Fight TV. I've seen so many women come into Ring of Honor and had to change their attitude, turn it up because of the violence displayed by Athena, because of the way she has held that title and the, what she's willing to do to hold on to it. People had to change where they are. They had to become what? Nice more there. aggressive. A series of nice wrist lock exchanges there into the front face lock here. You're absolutely right, Caprice. It's like Athena, who's 31-0 in Ring of Honor sanctioned bouts, has recrafted the Ring of Honor women's division in her image. Especially with the lineage it's had over the years, you think about Serena D, Mercedes Martinez, Mischief, Daisy Hayes, the the great Daphne. I mean, it's the list goes on and on. It's a car. Right. With that lineage, things are being turned up to a whole new level, and you can see it on pay-per-view. Use the QR code to access Bleacher Report right now. Also, mm. watch ROH.com. That's a high wrist lock there. Oh. Bringing that shoulder in. She's going to try to key lock it there. Yeah, beautiful double wrist lock. Layla Hirsch though finding her way out of it, using the hips Some into the cross arm breaker here. Some great wrestling here. Two, Certainly is. And you see Hirsch and Athena. We are just under one half hour away, fans. If you haven't ordered Death Before Dishonor, the only person we're missing here tonight is you. You can join us. There are the options. Bleacher Report, Cable and Satellite. Shoulder tackle sends down Trisha Dora. First with that low center of gravity. That's one thing about having a low center of gravity. It's another thing knowing how to use it. And that's what Hirsch has mastered. She's mastered her size. Going up under that leapfrog, bringing Trisha Dora down to her size. Trisha doesn't even know she's hit the ropes. Look oh, at that. Look at that. Oh, wrist lock. Arm drag blocked. Yeah. That's the strength of Trisha Dora. Mm. Strength and leverage right there. Ooh. Focusing right back in on that arm. Trisha has, and she's honed in on that arm, Riccoboni. The Sir? arm and the wrist and the shoulder of Hurst is in a lot of trouble, and Trisha knows it. Right there was pulling him into his shoulder. Hurst has no choice. Yeah, she is moving where, where Trish takes her at this point. Trish has that hard lock on that wrist control. Now she's going to try to bring her to her, off her feet. Yeah, this is a key moment in this match. Makes the decision. She likes the submission here, but Hirsch quick to counter yeah. it. Hirsch doing her homework. She's escaping, knowing she's in a lot of trouble. Yeah. That's the first time I've seen Hirsch try to escape. Yeah, Dora likes to go for that Yushigoroshi style move, and she turns it into a submission hold. Oh, see, now this is a momentum shift right here. It's smart, though. It's you, smart. You got to give her credit. You got to give Hirsch credit here. Well, Hirsch went out there to cut off the momentum that Trish had. She realized she called on to the plan that Trish was doing and tried to switch momentum. And as Trish follows in, she's going to be in a lot of trouble. And Hirsch with an opportunity. Oh, oh. Referee. And turn, gives her back to Adora. But split-second decision. That decision-making so good. Knee to the skull. Ducks the Lariat Tubman. Yeah. That face-off. a good match here. Technically sound strikers. Yeah. Yeah, as both women go back here to the collar, collar and elbow tie-up. Jockeying for a position in the rankings, of course. One half of our double main event here tonight. Athena, 31-0 in Ring of Honor bouts. Defends the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship against Willow Nightingale. The second half, Claudio Castagnoli defending against Pac in what is an absolute dream match. Has never taken place. Ooh, what? Yeah. In Ring of Honor. Ah! Oh, oh, did you see that? Hurst had her foot on Trisha Dora, so Trisha Dora could not break the step away. The referee did not see that turn, didn't see it, but Hurst knew it. Oh. Right when Trisha Dora tries to step away, Hurst stepped on her knee. And Hurst, ever the antagonist, letting the booze rain in. Stepping on the knee and stepping on it. Some dirty work right there. Some dirty fighting, nothing illegal about it. Just a little dirty. Well, of course, if you're Paul Turner, you always expect the, the not clean break to come up top with the hands, the fisticuffs, sometimes a headbutt. Well, he's it, right. So oh. top, she went down low, pulling on the arm, arm for arm. 
And Adora, how quickly the momentum changed once Hirsch went to the outside. You see the confidence in Hirsch eyes, Rick Abani. She knows she's put the damage in. You can see even in her eyes, she feels like she has it at home. But Trisha Dora's not going to go away easily, trying to block the suplex. Oh, and a shot to the lower back there. And it's Adora clubbing to the back. Adora fights up. Hirsch. Wow, beautiful sweep there. Oh, back to the arms. Back to the arm, Trish using that arm to base herself up. Four point base. Two cover. Two. Yeah. Even the way that Trish kicked out, she was favoring that arm, Riccoboni. Absolutely. I was, I was going to point that out as well. And going back to the cross arm breaker here. Trish trying to be a move ahead, flipping in, but Hirsch already caught her. Stacks Hirsch. One, two. And I wanted to see if Hirsch was going to let go of that pin, but she didn't. Keeping on to the arm. And into a triangle, looking for the triangle choke here. It's Adora. Oh, does she have it? Wow! She does! That's what I'm talking about. The strength of Adora. Dig it in deep. One. Planting Hirsch in front of the largest Two. Ring of Honor crowd in New Jersey's history. Three. My God, Riccoboni, if the women are fighting like this just to get into the ring, because imagine what's going to happen for the world title tonight. Oh, my goodness. Athena, Willow Nightingale, one half of our double main event right now. It's Adora and Hirsch no. going blow for blow, no. form for no. form here. No. It's still anybody's match, and Hirsch is taking a lot of punishment. No. Oh, my God. Big double no. action. No. Yes. No. And again, shades of the Polish power, Ivan Putski. No. Big blocks the lariat. No. Oh, no. body. And the big boot into the crossbody gives Adora the advantage. Hooks the outside leg. Two. Now we're going to have to start looking for that Lariat Tubman that Trisha Dora likes to hit that clothesline out of nowhere. That is an instant knockout if she hits it, Riccoboni. Certainly is. We've seen it before. The back elbow. Hirsch. Trisha Dora oh. still has the waist. Low German. Whoa. Low German with the bridge. One, two. Yeah. Woo. And the hip strength needed to keep that position, Capri. Oh my God, the hip strength, the knee strength, the determination you can see in the face of Trisha Dora. She's not finished, and she's not going to let Hirsch out of her sight. And Adora, wrist lock, Hirsch. Oh. Wow, into the corner there. Hirsch escapes. Oh my God, she didn't escape that boot right to the chin. That might be a knockout, Riccoboni. Cover. Two, and the up kick. Gets only two here. And what a bout this has been. Like you said, Caprice, if this is what the fans are getting for free, imagine at the top of the hour, death before dishonor live on paper. As a door oh. comes in. It's hurt. Oh. Hurst has a door in that corner. She's not going to let her out the corner. Create space. Oh, get momentum. On the basement drop kick. God, that was a shotgun basement drop kick. Trisha Dora just had nowhere to go. In a big trouble there. And trying to bring Adora back to her feet. Adora with a counter. And, oh. Adora! Oh my God. Inside backbreaker. Hooks the outside leg. Two. Nothing wrong with the cover, nothing wrong with the position, and that's just showing the heart of Layla Hurst. Both of these women are bringing their arm. They are honored to be on the on that zero hour. Absolutely, because it means more eyeballs. It means bigger paydays, bigger checks. It means putting your name in the hat for whomever will come out tonight. Bring them out our Women's World Champion and Caprice. Trish yeah, set up for the Lariat. Call it for it. Woo. Ducks the Lariat. Oh, back ankle pick. Adora creates space. Hirsch. Ooh, she, she avoided it. Adora stacks Hirsch too. Two count only. Hirsch to her feet first. La Maestra looking for La Casita here, maybe now. One. That's deep. Two. That's deep. One. Two. The Hirsch holding on. Game. Hirsch holding on. Traps the wrist. Into the cross arm bar. Don't get it stressed oh. out. Oh, and Adora's in the, the ring. Adora's in trouble. Yeah. That's it. The winner of this match by submission, legit, Layla Hirsch. Anybody could have won that match, Riccoboni. It was going back and forth, that back and forth pin. They were doing it a dangerous game. It's like chess. Who's going to be ahead of it? And you can see the winner, legit, Layla Hirsch. Legit Layla Hirsch.
That's three in a row, Caprice. And when we talk about rankings, when you talk about the top 10, the top five, when you string together three, four, five matches in a row, you put yourself in the title contention. Absolutely. And Layla Hurst you knows she wants to sign that title. We just don't know who the champ is going to be. Right. <laughs> Call the bottom. Wait a second. Call Come on. Absolutely uncalled for. Absolutely ridiculous. The, the match is already over. And she won. What does she have to be worried about? She won. Wait a minute. Sky Blue is here! Sky Blue! Coming out to save Trish Adora! Sky Blue here, saving Trish Adora. She's trying to hold that respect right there and honor. Hold on, this is not what you do in the women's division. This is not what you do in Ring of Honor. Trish Adora in a lot of trouble, but Sky Blue is not letting it happen. And and Caprice, I'm yep. sorry to interrupt, but I, I'm getting word from the back right now. Sky Blue, who just made the save. We're getting word Tony Khan has made it official tomorrow night. She will take on Taya Valkyrie, live from Newark, New Jersey, 8 p.m. Eastern, on AEW Collision on TNT. Wow, Sky Blue, wow, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, Layla Hirsch with the victory. Sky Blue, Taya Valkyrie, jockeying for position in both Ring of Honor and AEW right now. And I don't think this one's over between Sky Blue and Layla Hirsch. Yeah, I think Layla Hirsch has added herself to something that she didn't want to add herself to, but she goes into it with the door wide open. And Layla Hirsch may be watching that one tomorrow night closely. Your winner, Layla Hirsch. Fans, coming up as we cross the hour, six huge title bouts, a six-man fight without honor, a Lucha Dream match, but we will see the world six-man titles on the line, Caprice. It's going to be the Mogul Embassy taking on Master Wado, Reisuke Taguchi, and Leon Ruffin. What a team that is. Absolutely. The six-man tag team titles, it almost seems like they can't be taken away. And, of course, the second half of our double main event, the Ring of Honor World Championship on the line. Claudio Castagnoli, two-time champion, defends against Pac, a dream match. Pac's return to Ring of Honor first time since 2007. Let's take a look at what led to this match right now. We all saw it Wednesday night. Uh-oh. Yeah, we got it. Oh, no. Pack has been having some issues throughout this whole thing. It began right at the start. Some miscommunication going on here. And this could be the undoing of the Black Bull Combat Club. Pack is back. <laughs> He's back. Nobody expected him to do what he did. I didn't expect that. Can you believe it? The BCC bringing Pack into their orbit, into their environment. What is wrong with Pac? BCC definitely had a disadvantage. That man walked out on him. The mercenary that Pac is and can be in blood and guts against the Golden Elite, what a shock it was. And quite frankly, I can see why this match has to happen. How long did he think about doing that? Was that something that he had planned when he came back? Or did it happen in the match, blood and guts? Like, did he call to be the fifth member? Like, I feel like I win because I get to see a match that I've always wanted to see. He was handpicked by the Blackpool Combat Club. They know that he wanted revenge more than anything on the Elite. World title on the line, double main event. Pack, Claudio Castagnoli, Ring of Honor World Championship, coming out of blood and guts. Bad blood boiling hot. And wow, what a match that will be. But our final bout here tonight on Zero Hour, coming up next, AR Fox, Shane Taylor, one on one. What a clash of titans this will be here tonight. Tell you what, man, this match here has to have television title contentions in there. And I believe it's going to be a banger. We're going home with this. Yeah. And fans, this is your final taste before we cross the hour into Zip Before Dishonor live on pay per view. This match is set for one ball, a 20-minute title event. Introducing first, let's go to Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing 336 pounds, Shane Taylor. Former Ring of Honor World Television Champion, Shane Taylor. Looking to get back in the picture. All the way to the finals. 
for the Eliminator to be in the television title for the pay-per-view. Was beaten by Dalton Castle, but wants to get right back in there. Shane Taylor, the baddest champion you've ever seen. Now nicknamed the Jawbreak Kid, because he's been breaking jaws everywhere he goes for combining. And those patches on the vest indicative of the places Shane Taylor defended and took that world television title during his 2019 reign. Wants to get back to the top of the mountain. A win right here would certainly put him back into that conversation. I don't see no threats in here. I'm in the galaxy all on my own. I hit a 450 from the moon. His opponent wrestling out in Sonia, Connecticut. Weighing 185 pounds. A.R. Fox. A.R. Fox, who has been contending for the New Japan World Television title. For the Ring of Honor World Six-Man Champ who picked up a huge win back at final battle in tag team competition. Looking to continue that role right here. I tell you what, man, if you want to see what Ring of Honor is about, this is a perfect match of great contrasts and styles coming together right here. A.R. Fox, the veteran high flyer. Shane Taylor, the hard-hitting technician. This is going to be a great bout, Ring of Honor. Why they doing this for free? They can't get us away. Right there with you, the crowd rallying behind AR Fox, Code of Honor right here to our main event here on Ooh, Zero Hour. And there you see the countdown clock in the top left hand corner of your screen, folks. That is how much time you have to order Ring of Honor Death Before Dishonor. I wouldn't waste a second though, Caprice, right now. If you're watching on TV, I'd click the buy on the pay per view button. If you're joining us on Bleacher Report. Get us there, use that QR code, watchroh.com. Nice and convenient way to watch on Honor Club. Internationally, Fight TV, so many ways to join us. No excuse not to be here tonight. You can literally take the phone that you have in your hand, because your phone is still in your hand, yep. pick it up, put it on TV, put your phone on the TV, and buy the pay-per-view. Amazing. Swing and a miss there from Taylor. Oh, big back elbow. Wrist lock there. And it is Taylor with a high wrist lock. AR Fox coming through. They're gonna pop. Oh my oh God. God! That's the strength of Shane Taylor. The high wrist lock. AR Fox is trying to keep up to his feet. And Shane Taylor has seen that so many times before. Bringing AR Fox to his oh face. Wow. My God! Look at that shot. Oh, Fox could maybe rethinking his decision. I tell you what, that's the decision that got me to sit behind this yeah. Ring of Honor. Well, you got athletes like this. In Ring of Honor, we talked about the Devil Main Event, six title bouts, Dream Lucha match, and that'll. Whoa! Look at that! The evasiveness of AR Fox right there, that chin breaker, back to his feet, kicking the knee of Shane Taylor, back to his feet again, to the back of the head, chopping him down like a tree, like AR Fox does. Drop kick, shotgun to the outside. AR Fox is not finished with the body, he's just looking for space. Oh, and here comes AR Fox. Space makes air! And gravity brings A.R. Fox back down to Earth. But he may be looking to go back into outer space. One more time. He can't try it twice, though, Riccoboni. Two times, and he lands it twice. A.R. Fox is amazing, Riccoboni. This are the type of athletes that we have in Ring of Honor. You know what? I won't see that. You almost have. I'm going to see it, too. Back. Show me that again. Let's take a look here. We're going to take a look at A.R. Fox. Look, Ma, no hands. And then from there, we will take a look at Air Fox. Beautiful sunset over the top it's, rope. It's the reason why he landed both of those, because he came different ways. First time was a body block, the other was a sand time. Shane Taylor had no way to get out of that one. Shane Taylor in a lot of trouble, still on his hands and knees. And AR oh. Fox is right at home on the ropes. And Caprice, believe me, he is impressive here. As he, Taylor. Wow. Oh, oh my good God. Did you see the way that AR Fox's face hit that mat? Cover. Two. He's going to have rug burn for three weeks. Shane Taylor putting AR Fox in the corner. He's going to have his way working on a bread basket. That shot right there. Everybody in the house heard it. Here comes the bread basket shot. Working on the conditioning. The jaw again! Oh, my God! You see the way AR fell? Fox fell? It's like, it's involuntary. His knee just gave out. Nowhere to go but down for Fox as Taylor continues the onslaught across the jaw. 
Fox trying to create space, looking for somewhere to put those feet at. And kicks there to the midsection. Fox trying to fight out the corner. That's survival mode right there. But closing that gap. Oh, oh God. It's only one thing that's worse than getting hit by Shane Taylor is getting hit by Shane Taylor nowhere to go. And Taylor. Oh! Did you see the sweat pop off the chest? Yeah, the sweat will pop off your chest too if you got hit with a frying pan, Ricky Bonnie. Those are some big hands. Oh. And you see Taylor in control here. Reevaluating, reassessing the game plan. And you should not be reevaluating or reassessing anything. We're under 10 minutes away from death before dishonor. Watch this, Bill. Look! Look at the air. Oh, goodness. And there's the spine to canvas there, Caprice. Yeah, the landing on that took all the air out of AR Fox. AR Fox fell to the outside of the ring, but I think he wanted to create as much space between him and Shane Taylor as possible. That's why AR Fox is kind of running away from Shane Taylor, and Shane Taylor closing the gap. Shot to the midsection here. Ooh. Mm, short jabs right there. As Taylor in control. Oh! Ooh. Wow. See, Fox is only able to get one shot in at a time, but Taylor's able to recover. Oh, wow, right in front of us now. In front of the broadcast position, Fox sizing up Taylor. A master of aerial. Wow! That's 450 gainer! Oh, can we see that again? I mean, I'm requesting to see that one more time. I mean, here's the replay. We're going to take a look at the replay now. As AR Fox, a shooting star, into the. She's almost a 450 there. Wow! And fans, Fox, certainly impressive. Shane Taylor, like always, trying to get to his feet. And Fox, you will be able to see AR Fox this Wednesday against Orange Cassidy challenging for the AW International title. But if Shane Taylor wins this Caprice, then he gets a title shot. Uh, you gotta think. Look at this, Fox. Fox trying to pull the legs of Shane Taylor in. Not working. Oh! Connects up the ladder on Taylor here. It's Fox. Looking for the cutter. No one home. Cutter blocked. Oh! oh. Great space. Wow! Cutter plants Taylor. Taylor's out on his feet. And Fox, uh-oh. Wow. wow! Look at that. How many times can he move away from Taylor? Oh! Ooh! Crack of the skull across the stern of a fox. Taylor's not letting Fox fall. Caught him! And great strategy by Taylor. And he slammed him so headed. Hard Durant came off with the body. Oh! Big splash! The air! Two! Out of Ooh! Fox almost gets three. I thought that was it. AR Fox digging deep on that one. And Shane Taylor knows he's gonna have to turn it up to take on AR Fox. And fans, I've been told we will stay with this match if we need to as we head through. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh. What in the world? That's a good do rag. He's, he's messed up a good do rag. Now, AR Fox will never have waves. That's mean, man. Caprice, you got to get me up to speed after that, after Death Before Sonner. I'm not. No, he's trying to get waves, man. Now he'll never get. He got to buy a whole new do rag and start over again. Well, That's my, just mean, man. Uh, my last name is not indicative of somebody that might know what that is, so we got to catch up on that at the barbecue as Taylor. And Taylor has Fox in trouble. He, no one home. No one home for Taylor. Hey, our Fox is mad and he's angry. He's trying to breathe air, trying to get to his feet. His legs are not cooperating. Shane Taylor trying to get to his feet at the same time. I want to see who gets to their feet first. But Shane Taylor's still on the outside. And it's Fox. Oh, wow. Knees to the face here. And Fox, no! Oh! Oh! Springboard! Taylor Lander on his head, Riccoboni. Shooting the half, inside leg, one, two. Woo. Oh, just a two count there. All that momentum brought Shane Taylor down on his head. Fox needs to stop looking at the referee and try to finish the match. Stefan is not gonna count until your shoulders are down, Riccoboni. And do you think it's weighing through his head with 
The championship bout coming on Wednesday. Oh. The nerves setting in, knowing he might lose that title opportunity to Taylor here. I don't know if I would have pulled Taylor to his feet. You know how hard it is to get Shane Taylor off his feet? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, wait a second. Brings out of it. Roll up, roll through. Oh, basement cutter. Basement cutter. Fox. Caught him. He caught him. Look at the driver. Got him. That's going to do it. His hands were on the rope. My God, how close was that? Look at that one more time. AR Fox knowing where he is. It is the only thing that saved Fox in this match. As we take a look, the welcome to the land. I was so excited. Cover here. Tune Doc. That would be it in just in the nick of time. How degree. good is Stefano looking at the hands the whole time at AR Fox? Knowing where AR Fox is, all AR Fox had to do is realize where he was grabbing the ropes. AR Fox is still in this match with the body, but he's in a bad situation. Best officials in the world, best wrestling on the planet. Shane Taylor, AR Fox, as we count down just four minutes away from death before dishonor, we will stay with this match if we need to, heading into the pay per view. We got four minutes to try to buy this oh, pay per view. And this, this is Lamarcus Garvey driving. He's looking for it here. From the top. Are you kidding me? Fox out of the way. But now that Fox has escaped, Shane Taylor's in a bad position, Riccoboni. Shane Taylor's going to have to get to his feet fast, or AR Fox is going to take him off there in a bad way. Shane Taylor's not at home right there. Uh-oh. Fox? No. There, there's no way. Look at the strength of Fox. Fox with a feet of strength, walking with a 300-pounder. My God! Clance Taylor! All the way up top! Four that might do it right there! Yeah! The winner of this match is... Oh, wow! Two athletes at the top of their game, looking to gather momentum. Let's take a look at the conclusion of this bout. Taylor looking to get the television title, Fox International title. Beautiful 450. Beautiful 450 splash hit in the center of the ring. That's exactly what AR Fox needed. A great momentum to go into the championship match on Dynamite. My God, that's beautiful. And Shane Taylor, impressive in the effort against Fox. Either one of these two men, I believe, can and will be champion soon, Caprice. But, but the, yeah, speaking of champ, we got so many championship matches getting ready to happen in the next hour. We got six Caprice, in fact, six. The six-man title, tag team, women, pure television, world title. We got a double main event here tonight. It's going to be incredible. Hey, our Fox, your winner, fans, there you see it right there. That's how you can join us on pay-per-view. Bleacher Report, cable, pay-per-view.com. Fight for our international viewers, cable and satellite. Most importantly to me, watch ROH.com. Caprice, I think we should get the fans up to date with what's happening at the pay-per-view. Eight title matches, first ever, six men, fight without honor, and the kick things off with a dream lucha about Caprice. This couldn't be any any bigger if we tried. And reminder, Aero Fox will challenge Orange Cassidy for the AW International title this Wednesday night. But coming up at the top of the hour, we're going to start things off with a Lucha Dream match, Caprice. Gravity, brother of Bandito, former world champion, takes on commander. I tell you what, two young luchadors have been proving themselves in Ring of Honor and in AEW, and they get to blast the roof off at the beginning. And after that, we have a six-man match, but there's no rules to this match. It's a six-man fight without honor as the Dark Order takes on the righteous. Can Stu Grayson and Zero Uno put that differences aside? We have less than one fight of, uh, without honor per year in Ring of Honor. Very rare, the most dangerous match we'll also see. World six-man titles, former IWGP Junior Tag Champ, Master Wado, Taguchi, the team with Leon Ruffin to take on the Mogul Embassy, who have the biggest winning streak among any six-man groups. The tag team titles are on the line as the tag team champions, Lucha Bros, take on the Kingdom, best friends, and Adam Ozzy Open to win the tag team championship. This pay-per-view is crazy, Rick Abani. It certainly is, we haven't even talked about the pure title match yet. Katsuyori Shibata, Daniel Garcia. Will Garcia lean into the wrestler that he is to try and become pure champion once again, Caprice? We still talk about championships. The television title is on the line as the 
champion, Samoa Joe, takes on Dalton Castle. The Women's World Championship is also on the line. Do you know who's in the Women's Championship? I sure do. The most dominant champion ever, Athena, against the only woman to defeat her in the last six months, Willow Nightingale. That is one half of our double main event. But fans, the Ring of Honor World Championship is on the line as well, Caprice. The main event right here as our Ring of Honor champion, Claudio Castagnoli, takes on the bastard Pac in the match that we didn't know was going to happen until he turned.